we have Eric Wang talking about moving the Polkadot ecosystem forward with builder support. Uh, this is, uh, he, Eric is filling in for Dieter, who's feeling a bit under the weather, so appreciate it. Feel better out there, Dieter. Thank you, Peter, for the intro. Um, I guess we can start. We can start the talk already. So let me share my screen, if you don't mind. Um, oh, oh! Seems like the screen is already shared. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. Um, let us begin. So hi everyone, um, once again, I'm Eric Wang and I am the ecosystem development lead at Parity Technologies. Today, my talk is going to be about moving the Polkadot ecosystem forward with builder support. So amongst other things, part of my job is to support teams that are building the Polkadot, Kusama and Substrate ecosystems. And today my talk is going to focus on the different types of support available to builders in these ecosystems. Um, I would say we're truly blessed to have a massive heterogeneous community of different actors, entities, and things that provide support to builders. This is a bit of a double-edged sword because on one hand, there's a ton of support available in many different areas. But on the other hand, there is no real, I guess, central guide as to where all the support lives. So during this talk, I'll highlight some of the major resources out there and talk a bit about them and hopefully builders who are watching this presentation that are looking to get help or support will get some ideas uh, of where they can turn to. So uh, please watch the chat as well as links will be dropped in on different areas as we go. So the question we're trying to answer is, um, what types of support are available in the uh, Polkadot, Kusama, and Substrate ecosystems? So firstly, I'm going to talk a bit about our largest area of financial support, which is the on-chain treasury. So Raul and Peter gave an awesome talk uh, of two talks ago about governance and the treasury. So I won't go into too much detail on what it is, but any talk about the subject will be massively incomplete without me mentioning it. Essentially, this is an on-chain reserve of funds that is controlled by the community through the council that exists to support any project that brings benefit to the ecosystem. Both Polkadot and Kusama have their own treasuries and they're an amazing example of decentralized governance an action that is actually bringing value to builders. So if you look at the graph to the right of the page, it shows the current level and expected growth of the Polkadot treasury. So currently the treasury has the equivalent of just under $50 million worth of dots, um, but that is expected to grow massively to uh, the order of hundreds of millions of dollars over the next year. And all of these tokens are earmarked for projects that bring value to the ecosystem. So it is also important to note as well that it's not like these tokens are just sitting on chain and not actually going to ecosystem projects, but that this money is actually being distributed and funding meaningful things. So for Polkadot, which has only been licensed about late August, over 15 treasury proposals have already been approved with over $100,000 dots, sorry, 100,000 dots in total being um, distributed. And for Kusama, which has been live uh, for longer, over 35 proposals have been approved for a total of almost 60,000 KSM. And so there's quite a few successful treasury proposals. And some successful examples are, for example, continued funding for Pokescan, which is one of the more popular um, block explorers in our ecosystem, as well as uh, the ramp network fiat on and, raw, uh, fiat on and off ramp funding. The point that I'm trying to mention is that projects are being funded and there are tokens available. And if you have a project that you think brings value to the ecosystem, then you should apply to the treasury for funding. The mandate of this treasury is purposely uh, purposefully flexible so that the effects, uh, the types of effects supported evolve as the needs of the ecosystem evolves. And so the next major area of support that I'd like to mention is direct support from the Web3 Foundation, which is the Swiss foundation responsible for launching Polkadot. So the first thing uh, is Web3 Foundation grants. So support from the foundation is provided primarily through their grants program, which exists to support open source software development that is generally useful for builders. And this is important because the goal of the grants program is not to support specific applications or businesses, 
but really low level infrastructure that can be useful for the entire community. So unlike the Polkadot or Kusama treasuries, where almost anything can be de theoretically be funded, the focus of grants is significantly more specific. And so the grants program has been uh, around for a while, so it's about since December of 2018, way before even Kusama was launched. And it's been key to ensuring a broad community of builders can actually build their products now because such low level infrastructure has already been built in our ecosystem for so long. So to give you some sense of some numbers here for the grants program, so we've distributed almost um, $10 million in value, received over 400 grant applications and accepted almost half of them. 65 of those grant, um, grant projects have been completed already and over 20 uh, plus pro uh, sorry, projects have uh, represented over 20 plus countries. So the geographic distribution of countries is quite high. So when we actually drill into what sorts of projects can be funded by the grants, then this varies uh, pretty wildly. And so if you look at this diagram uh, that I'm showing you, um, this diagram uh, demonstrates kind of distribution uh, for grantees by number of grants and not by value of grant awarded. So the biggest category we see here is runtime modules um, or pallets for substrate chains. And some, uh, some examples of this are, for example, pallets to enable identity, data storage, and zero knowledge transactions. And the next biggest areas are development tooling and UI. And these can include things such as uh, ways to enable smart contracts in assembly script, block and node explorers, and governance interfaces. And of course, there are also other major areas like bridges to external blockchains. Uh, we funded, for example, um, through the Web3 Foundation Grants Program, uh, bridges to Bitcoin and Ethereum. And also other major areas include alternative implementations, for example, of the Polkadot host. And we funded a Golang and a C++ version so far. So the crucial point I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of support to teams that want to build general purpose infrastructure in order to either improve their products or the products of others or both. And grants, support, and grants support projects that could be, uh, you could say pretty unsexy, but are extremely necessary infrastructure to support a healthy and functioning community of applications. So if you have an infrastructure project in mind that you think would bring ma uh, massive value to application developers, then please apply for a grant. So Substrate Builders Program. So for builders that are trying to build an actual business on Polkadot, um, Parity Technologies, which is the uh, company that I belong to, uh, our ecosystem success team runs the Substrate Builders program, which is designed to support top tier teams building the Substrate ecosystem. And um, I guess we've always struggled a bit to succinctly describe, describe what this program actually is, because the program provides such varied and close support to so many different types of teams. But I think the best way to describe it is as a permanent incubation or acceleration program to help teams building on Polkadot evolve into sustainable and effective businesses. And some examples of services provided by this program are structured relationship management and a single point of contact provided for teams enrolled in the program without, uh, with feedback on strategy, business development, and partnership support to help you build a sustainable business. And also we'll soon be introducing a milestone-based uh, program component to really help your business succeed and attain specific milestone-based goals. We also provide personalized technical support with regular check-ins and off hours to help you build out the technical part of your product offering. And Parity offers uh, everything from dedicated builders channels uh, with internal engineers who give fast feedback, open drop-in office hours, topic-specific wor workshops on things such as um, parachains and runtime development, and one-on-one -on -one support from Polkadot's core development team. Next, we have um, also uh, launch and audit support so we provide um, dedicated launch support engineers within this program to guide you through launching your own network and access all the knowledge Parity gathered after, after we ourselves helped launch both Polkadot and Kusama. And finally, individualized navigation of community resources. As I said during the beginning of this talk, there's a ton of support for builders provided by a wide variety of different members of the community. And the Substrate Builders Program can help you navigate the different types of support provided through the treasury grants other community funding resources and really help you figure out what's right for your business based on what's on offer across so many different areas. So just to give you some statistics on the program, 
We launched this program almost exactly one year ago at a sub-zero event in Berlin. And since then, we've received over 180 applications and we've accepted over 30 applications to the change track. Uh, the change track is a track for teams that are building substrate-based blockchains. Um, and we've also accepted over seven teams to what we call the infrastructure track, which is a track for teams who are building infrastructure-based br businesses like bridges and those focused on node infrastructure. And I also kind of want to take this opportunity to publicly announce the new applications track. Um, in this application track, we already accepted two teams, and I believe we have over 10 teams that are, um, sorry, 10 applications that are being evaluated. The application track is for teams that are building applications on top of substrate-based chains. Uh, and these substrate-based chains are mostly platforms that support application development, such as Edgeware, Moonbeam, Akala, and Plaza. Applications that are accepted onto this track will be in, uh, could be in familiar areas, such as DeFi, governance, identity, and really anything that hasn't really been possible uh, without the interoperable ecosystem, such as one that Polkadot provides. So if you're interested in the Builders program, uh, the application is already available at Substrate.io. And um, to summarize, the Substrate Builders program is Parity's flagship program for teams build, uh, building businesses on Polkadot, and we are really dedicated to building it out and improving it over time. So. Though the bulk of support from Parity is from the Substrate Builders program, Parity also provides support to all teams building in the Polkadot ecosystem, not just those teams who are already enrolled in the Builders program. And uh, these kinds of support are pretty varied, um, but they're available in areas such as technical support, which includes things such as element channels with Parity engineers that can support runtime development, and uh, as well as DevOps support, and um, we can also provide integration expertise. Also, we provide support in technical communications. Uh, we have a dedicated communications team that can help you with your announcements about the tech you're building and include you in certain features, such as our building on substrate series, regular newsletters, as well as stakeholder communications. And next, we have delivery services. So if you're a team that wants to build on substrate but struggling to get started, then Parity's delivery services team can either be engaged to do development work for you or connect you with one of the many independent development shops out there that have experience building on Substrate. And uh, just to note that most delivery services are paid consulting services. And so finally, now let's chat a little bit about other areas of support uh, that exist in the community. So firstly, uh, I want to mention that Parity's uh, Asia team recently partnered with Wanshan Blockchain Labs as a uh, Wanshan Blockchain Labs is a part of a multi-billion dollar uh, Chinese conglomerate to support 15 teams building on, the Polkadot, uh, building on Polkadot and Substrate technology. Um, so this program is now over, um, but it was an extraordinary success and really signals the interest of large corporates in what Polkadot and Substrate technology can provide. And uh, just to let you know, this will be the first of many boot camps that we do. And though I did describe Substrate Builders Program as an evergreen incubator of sorts, there are many independent incubator slash accelerator programs that accept Polkadot teams, uh, including team uh, programs such as the Long Hash Incubator and Berkeley's Blockchain Accelerator program. Encouraging the development of independent uh, incubation programs uh, focused on Polkadot slash substrate is a major priority for our team. And we really expect this to be a, um, to focus on this in a way bigger way over time. Also, we have the Polkadot Ambassador program which consists of over 400 ambassadors across 70 countries. And these ambassadors are basically diehard fans of our tech and ecosystem projects. They're also uh, generally individual leaders of their own local communities. Uh, also, we have what's called the Polkadot Ecosystem Fund, which is a network of approximately 30 to 40 independent venture capital funds interested in deploying capital to Polkadot Ecosystem projects. We've seen almost uh, 30 million US dollars flow into almost a dozen different projects um, that come through this ecosystem fund over the past six months. And lastly, there are a ton of events put on by various groups showcasing our ecosystem projects. And these events can include things such as Sub-Zero, Web3 Summit, uh, Polkadot Decoded, DotCon, and dozens of global meetups, hackathons, and gatherings. So if anyone has any questions about the different areas of support that we provide, that they can come into the Discord channel after the presentation. And um, that concludes my presentation, actually. So I hope that this presentation is pretty clear and that and it makes clear that the breadth and depth of support available to builders in our ecosystem is quite extreme and pretty special. And I hope you have a better appreciation on how to access these resources as well. So, awesome. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. go ahead. Um, yeah, sorry. I, I, uh, that, that pretty much concludes our presentation, actually. Thank you so much, Eric. There's a lot of uh, information to unpack there. Just a reminder to everyone, all of these sh sessions are automatically available on replay so you can dig into any details that you missed. And as Eric mentioned, uh, if you have any questions for him or the teams involved in all of these programs, check out the Discord chat uh, that is linked in the, uh, in, in, in the chat.